And we got more binoculars. Oh! Yeah, Hold sure. on, it's not this though. It's not here. It's not this either. Silverware, silverware. And it's definitely not this. But, oh my gosh. I hope it's in there. I hope it's in there. I hope it's in there. Welcome back and this guy he was a hoarder. He was a multi-millionaire and they threw out four dumpsters. That's right four dumpsters full of stuff. This is the stuff I could save. You guys haven't seen the other videos. Unbelievable. I'm just so happy I got there because I'd hate to see all this stuff to go to the dumpster. So so many great finds from vintage toys to stuff all the way up to the turn of the century. Unbelievable stuff, and I'll show you some more of the cool things. And once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Hit that bell. If you want to get all your notifications, you don't want to miss a thing. You might not get one of the tickets to go to the, that's right, the 15th annual boxing show in Cleveland in 1952. And I got tickets for every subscriber out there, guys. So, piles of tickets here. So, I'll probably sell the whole box full. I don't know. Someone might sell them for a dollar a piece. I don't care. Get them out of there. That's one of the ways I make money, guys. And I take things like Simon. I sell for other people. And that's how you can make money. Buy storage units. You can buy estates. It's easy to buy. The harder thing, guys, is always to sell. So you need to have an avenue. I have the auction avenue to sell. You always need an avenue to sell. So who knows what else. I'm take a look in here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Remember I was talking about some old stuff? A Merry Christmas card right there, Chachi. And it has a post date. I believe this is 19... I, I want to say 1910, but it could be earlier. Look at this, 1902. See that? Original stamp on there. I was going to say it had to be open before, right? Uh-oh, it's never been open? No. I don't want to rip it open. So I have to get some. Let's see. Just trying to find something that won't tear it just slowly. It's been closed that long. Wow. We'll have to look at this, guys. Who knows what's in there? It has been open. Maybe, maybe there's money in there. We'll look at that later. So you're going to have to watch the whole episode. We'll open that later on. And also in this episode, a trunk or a cedar chest that I bought. Wait till you see what I found in there. So you're going to have to watch the whole episode to see that. And, man. Also, I'll give you prices on some of the stuff as we go. But look at these old cards. And they have the stamps in that. Look at this. You can tell how old they are. It says 19. It's kind of blocked out there. The other one was 1902. So these could be all 1902. 1910. Who knows? <clears throat> oh, my gosh. February 21st, 96. This is 1896 as a set. It's an old stamp there, Chachi. Oh my gosh. 1902. It's a letter inside here. And people love these old letters, guys. And it's all about subject matter. So if you can actually read their handwriting, because it's very difficult. You know, you never know what it's about. It could be a love letter. It could be a letter. Sometimes it's about... I mean, really subject matter. I've had the ones from the wars always sell well. People writing back, telling about what's happening over at seas and things like that. And this whole thing, I'm mean, just full of old postcards. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Josh. I'm talking about this is just loaded. Old postal cards. I'm trying to see some dates on there. 1906, 96. You need to see by the ink, the writing. This is United States of America, one cent postal. And then here's a the little thing. Zanesville, Ohio. Pretty cool, guys. 
<clears throat> just holding history in your hand. I mean, 1912, 1906. And this whole box is just filled with old paper like this. Who knows what's, I mean, there's postcards, there's these written out things. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these. Look how big this is. That's a postcard? Woo! So it looks like you can get this thing opened up and it did. There it is. The Multicolor Sales Company. Sir, if the man who buys your printing should say to you, I have a plan where you can buy as much printing this year or just give it a better quality for half the cost, would you listen to him? Old sales pitch right there. Pretty cool. 1916. Making their sales pitch. So, that's what I'm saying. You have to go, look at this. Just the ornateness of the envelope alone. Some of these stamps could be highly valuable. I mean, there's so much in here that could be worth a lot of money. That's why we just take we take the whole box, guys. We'll process it, go through it. But, I mean, shh. Look at that. 93. So this is 1893, Chachi. Look at it. Can you read that for me? Yeah, real easy to read, huh? The cursive's tough. So, I mean, man. I just want to go through all these. I don't have time right now, but I will. What is in here? Uh, it looks like an old stamp book, but the stamps are missing. But, we have this envelope, Chachi. Are you pumped? To see what's inside here? Right, it doesn't look like it's ever been open. I'm double checking right now. We'll have to see. You guys, this, is, this place is just loaded with so much stuff. And there's other things, you know, like a brand new motion light. We could take it, we could sell it. A little tiny sunbeam clock vintage. Brand new puzzles. People always buy puzzles. Look at this. Sealed flight simulator for Microsoft. It's got to be cash money. Someone's going to buy that. I remember when they first got it. All sealed puzzles. So little things like that. Some people might leave them. I try to save as much. I'm trying to make the guy as much money as possible. Once again, the multimillionaire passed away. His financial advisor only received the contents of the house. His $5 million went to charity. The house sale over the house went to charity. Everything he owned went to charity, except for the contents of the house. And I'm sure he got some good stuff out of the house, but he threw out four dumpsters. Could have been $10,000, $20,000 worth of stuff. Just by the stuff that I saved, it was probably at least ten dollars to $20,000. Maybe, I don't know what he threw out. One item could have been a $10,000 piece. I mean, this guy had stuff all the way from the 1800s. Oh, what's in this box, Josh? Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. This is some kind of old calculator, little chart things. But in here is all machinist tools. Now, a lot of guys, eh, these things probably, some of these can be highly valuable. They're all marked. It's real hard to make out, but they have a mark here. Meant, meant, uh, depends on who makes it. This is Star brand, great brand. I mean, some of these pieces can be worth $20, $30, $40 a piece. This is all, the whole box is just loaded with machinist stuff. You know, if I sell the whole box like this, I'll probably get 50 to 100 bucks. If I break it up, I probably could get a little bit more. But once again, things that you just don't know are worth money, guys. That's the whole key. I try to save everything. And I can't wait to show you some more stuff. We're getting some of the military stuff and tons and tons more boxes. So I showed you guys this trench coat yesterday. And we found stuff in the one coat. I didn't check the trench coat, so maybe we'll find something in there. Nope, not lucky today. But here's one of his military coats. You guys let me know what the patch means up there. This is the one we found buttons and, and things in. Ooh, look at this one. Take a look. Now, this is World War II. It appears to me World War II. You guys let me know about the uh, patches, but look at the pins up there. Insignia, another pin right there. 
So, and it really depends on the patches, the units. We had the one time we had a military coat and the company the guy was with was extremely rare. And I think the coat went for $375, you know, where most of these coats would be worth, you know, this one has some damage and everything else, maybe 20 to $50. It's all depends on the patch, what company they were in. It could have been a famous company. I don't know a lot. I just know a little bit about a lot. Another nice army coat. I mean, all worth money, guys. So always army stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the stuff that makes me crazy. This box is loaded with old comic books. Ten cent comic book, guys. But look at that. Ten cent Donald Duck. The problem is that most of them are missing covers or the covers are torn. Little Eva. Ava. Dale Evans missing the cover. That's the whole problem is that look at 1959 topics. And some of these comic books could be $50, $100 comic books. Could be $1,000 comic books in here. But the problem is condition is everything with comic books. And the condition on these is bad. But this whole box is filled with comic books. And I remember I seen them and the guy's like, oh, that's just a bunch of old comic books. I'm like, did he throw out boxes full of old comic books? They could have Superman number one, first appearance of Batman or something. They could have had a, I mean, this guy had stuff from the 40s and 50s and turn of the century. So, oh, makes me sick. Just never, ever, ever know. I don't know what's in here. Oh, oh yeah. Speaking of tons and tons of cast iron, so much cast iron. Let's see what these little pieces are. So I think the guy was selling these things. Oh, salt and peppers. More salt and peppers. We got the little cottages. Oh, this one's not that. Well, you see this one, Chachi. I read the box. So I'm a... Statue of Liberty salt and pepper shakers. What's more American than that, Chachi? A lady, can you sing a thing? Liberty. No. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. And then it says here, Aladdin lamps. So this guy had so much of his cast iron pieces. I, they're all hand painted. One's probably white. One's probably black. Very cool. I'm not, guys, I'm telling you, I got boxes. Boxes full. This says two pick holders, kitchen stove. We'll open one up here. Flat iron. Brand new old stock cast iron pieces. Look at flat iron. And there's two in here. So, I mean, I don't even know. I, I have probably have a thousand of these pieces all together. I mean, here's a box full, this box full. I mean, each one of these has to have. 30, 40 pieces, and then maybe more. This box. Cool. Telephone, it says. Log cabin. So let's just see. So we got a uh, two, four, that's five, 10, 15, 20, probably about 40 in this box right here. And I got another box right here, Josh. And another box, and another box. This one, these are bigger boxes. It says teapot, essence, salt, and pepper. So, so much cool stuff. And, oh man, what's inside here? First, you guys always know I love to look at the newspaper, see what date. See that date on there? Mm -hmm. 1954. And let's have some Sunday fun day. Look at that Sunday fun. The best is this dude right here. He's got all his kids. Smoking a cigarette right over top of them. Hey, it's 1950s. Everyone smoked back then. And then what's in here? Oh my gosh. Folk art decoration. Look at this, Chachi. Brand new old stock. All painted up. And that's one, two. There's probably who knows how many in here. And there's different things in here, too. Let's see what this is. These are cards. Christmas. Dutch County Notes. Try more cards. Yeah, vintage cards, vintage metal. What's in these boxes? Gossip notes. Swedish gossip notes. Oh, yeah, nice. 
So old stock, and that's, you know, people love collecting this stuff. Where are you going to find this old stock? Second Sense Auctions, that's right. Second Sense Auctions, that's where you're going to find it. Like I said, here's more cases. This says shoe shine box. Let's take a look. Salt and peppers. So, I mean, I got cast iron salt and peppers and trivets and trinkets and every other thing you could imagine. So, so much cool stuff. It's boxes and boxes full. And uh, that's, I don't know. I'm going to get over here. Let's see what's in the top. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about this. Wait till you see what's inside here. Man, look at this toe chachi. Some kind of military bag or something. Could be a pail. I bet you could put water in there. I bet you it's waterproof. Collapsible pail, I bet you that is. Or put dirt in there. Who knows? We got the canteen right there. So maybe this is all the military stuff. You always got to look inside these. You never know. There could be something. Nothing. Ooh, vintage air. Smells like 19... 56? I'm a connoisseur of vintage air chachi. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? I was crazy once. They put me in a rubber room and I died there. They buried me in the warmest tickle on my toes. They drove me crazy, crazy. I was crazy once. Okay, I won't go through the whole thing. Binoculars. Cash money, chachi. Vintage binoculars. What's this stuff over here? Ho oh, ho! Good thing I didn't show that side. This is a vintage uh, penthouse magazine. So, I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> See, this is all penthouse magazines now. Oh, no way. 196 or 86 Ford Tempo brochure. Oh, man, who doesn't want an 86 Ford Tempo brochure? This has got to be super, super valuable. Just like an 86 Oldsmobile. Now, the 74 Maverick. That might be a, a little bit more valuable. And I can tell you, this is worth money right here. 74 Mustang II. Guys, this old car stuff, good money right here. I don't know about the 86 Mazda or the Pontiac or the 85 Dodge Lancer or the Chevy or the Jeep. That might have some value. Oh, man. The Chevy Cavalier. Look at that stylish beauty. Who doesn't want an old Chevy Cavalier? There's another mods then the Dodge. So we got some. Oh, there's more down here, Josh. The Corolla. The Jeep. So obviously, our best one we have is probably going to be that Ford Mustang right there. 74. What do you think's in here, Josh? Oh. What do you think, Chachi? I know what's in here. It's a computer from 1960s or 50s. What? You didn't know that was a computer? <laughs> so, yeah, like, look at all the Skywriter. So, these smaller type of writers always seem to sell better. So this one, I have to look it up, but it might go for 50 or 100 bucks. Smith Corona Skywriter, Chachi. And we got more binoculars. Oh! Woohoo! Look down there. Look down there. 22 shells. 22 shells. We got shotgun shells. Golf balls. Uh, look at look, some uh, Crossman uh, air stuff. So that is cool. And more binoculars. And binoculars can be highly valuable. Bosch and Lom. Everyone knows Bosch and Lom. Definitely money. So this is a good little tote here. Oh, I forgot to check in here, Chach. Got a little statue of Mary. It does have a new old stock here. Oh, no way. Look at this. Look at this. You know what this is? This is either Japanese or Chinese propaganda that they would give their troops. Oh man, this whole box might be full, Chachi. Oh my gosh, look at this. Guys, I've never seen these before. 
Chachi, can you read what this says for me? The. Oh, the. All right, well, Chachi, he knows, uh, he knows his Japanese. That's one thing I know about Chachi. Look at that. I mean, that's like Worker's Party. This is, oh, look at this vintage hunting license, 1963. Once again, you wouldn't think they have money, value guys, their money. Look at this. These can be highly collectible. I have no clue what they say, but this is like the, looks like how this guy, how to fight this kid and stuff. Man. Unbelievable. Just holding history. It's one of the reasons I love what I do. Man, this looks like for uh, like a rifle, a sling for a rifle. So I don't know. There's some or here's some more books. Zhao Zeng Deng Cha Lang. See, I told you I could read a Chachi. Yag Jin Ban Dan. So if anyone knows what this stuff says out there, oh look at this one. It says this for the uh, Kamikazes. It's just, I wonder if this is what they gave the kamikazes, you know, and it's like, hey, tell your family you love them and you're going to fly your plane into, into something. <laughs> you know? It's just crazy. How I began to paint the countryside. So this propaganda stuff's got to be worth some money. Chinese literature. So maybe it's Chinese. I don't know. China book and periodicals. So these could be Chinese guys. 1977. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to do some research on them. But man, what a cool box. Definitely has some value in there. Some stuff I've never seen before. And that's like this whole, like I said, I had to save all this stuff. There's so much stuff i never seen. And I got a few more things I want to show you. You won't believe what else. All right, some of this furniture. Just loaded with stuff. It came from a storage unit. We never got to go through it all. We had to just load it in here, so we're cleaning up the furniture. We have this beautiful piece here, the secretary desk right here. Nice, nice little piece. And once again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. You never know what you're gonna see. Never know what you're gonna find. And we got this nice key in here. And we found all kinds of stuff in there. Some vintage pins and some vintage pens. And then this one here, I never got to go through it all the way. Nice cedar chest. Cedar chest always sell well. I usually get, it depends on the cedar chest. Average around 100 bucks, give or take, sometimes more, sometimes less. This one's nice as a footed cedar chest, but right here off the top, look at that. No iron on. Luxury muslin sheets. And everyone loves Hobby Hobby. <clears throat> Remember when you had that set on your bed when you were a kid, Chachi? Chachi, like, no, man. I had Spider Man. <laughs> Service muslin sheets here. So thread count, I don't know what size this is for. But brand new, old school. And I know a lot of the stuff we've sold before, they're not cheap. I said they're not sheet. They're not cheap. Sheet. <laughs> and then what's this? Jack LaLanne. Way to vibrant good health. Oh my gosh, look how young Jack LaLanne was. Remember Jack LaLanne? The juice man? It's Jack LaLanne, the juice man. Oh, is this signed? Oh, look at that. Autographed by Jack LaLanne. Oh, man. You know who Jack LaLanne is, man? You seem like you don't know who he is, man. Don't you remember the guy with the juicers on TV, the infomercials? Jack LaLanne's power juicer. Now, look at this. This little piece of like corny one where it's not marked on the bottom. Little teapot. <clears throat> look at this brand new old stock. Hand painted Chachi? Would you manage sitting there painting that? Look at that. Hand painted flowers. <clears throat> and I know this old, old stuff has money. Dakota handcrafts. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty cool looking. It has like a, looks like trees. Kind of rustic looking. This whole thing's just full of brand new old stock. Canon Monticello. Fitted bottom sheets. Any of these you want, Josh? No. Match your curtains. What's this? What's this? Teflon pad set. Ironing board cover. 
<laughs> Vintage iron board cover. Who irons anymore, Chad? You iron? Yeah. You do? Oh, right, we're going to buy it. It's Christmas time. Man, that was bad for Christmas, I guess. <clears throat> bad this year. Is this a rug or blanket? It's a rug, Chad. That's a vintage yellow rug. Somebody out there probably want it. We've got a blanket right here. Oh, there's something in the blanket. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that, Chachi. Oh, nice. So we've got an old belt here, but look at this. Man, it's awesome. That's for 22 bullets. This looks like it's never been used. Oh, yeah, Chachi. Gonna be style. Show up to the storage units. I'll just have pens in there. Locks hanging off the side. <laughs> no? No. Should I put bullets in there, maybe? A little better? I think you need a holster, Chachi. Yeah. Gotta find a nice leather holster. These are in there, maybe there's a gun. Yeah. Let's see. What is this? Oh, I think this is like a workout. You want to look like Jack Lane or Rob Zaba? That's all you gotta do. Then you gotta watch out it breaks, and this, this is the ones you already see in the show. They're like, oh, itch in the forehead. And it's like, ah, oh, you got a big welt mark across your face from this. Watch, Josh. I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, look at this. Vintage piece of glass there. A little vase of vase. Fine muslin. More of that stuff. Got some pink sh towels, sheets. Oh, towels. Oh, oh. I can't show you that. I can't show you that, Chachi. You're going to be too excited. So we'll have to, we'll have to see what else is in here first, and I'll show you. What's this? Uh oh. What this is? Pellets. Pellets, Shachi. Oh, are you going to you're going to Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. Give you just a little bit of champagne for you guys can party with. Kick it off right, you know what I'm saying? Pop the cork, a little bubbly before you cruise. What do you think? <laughs> no. This is some good stuff. This is old right here, Chachi. Vintage goodness, man. I mean, if it don't kill you, you're going to be wasting. <laughs> All right, Chuck, you ready to see what I see? Yeah, Hold sure. on, it's not this, though. It's iron pair. It's not this either. Silverware. Silverware. And it's definitely not this. But, oh my gosh. I hope it's in there. I hope it's in there. I hope it's in there. Benjamin CO2 gas pistol. <laughs> Look at that, Chachi. In the box. Crispy, crispy. Man. Unbelievable. It's just funny because we bought <clears throat> this stuff how long ago? It's just been sitting here. And guys, I buy so much stuff. I come across some stuff. I clean out houses, estates, all kind of stuff. I work with real estate agents and lawyers, and sometimes I just get overwhelmed and stuff just gets set here. And we had to catalog this furniture to get it out of here because it's taking up all the space in this room. And man, unbelievable find. I remember this unit, it was a good unit too. I paid 200 bucks or something for this unit. Look this up right here, guys. Guaranteed. At least a hundred bucks, but with the box, all the paperwork, probably two, three hundred bucks. That's why I do what I do. Love making money, and that's how you do it. You gotta buy sometimes, especially old stuff. I love old stuff. Let's see what else we find. Wow, so many unbelievable finds. I mean, whew, so many awesome things from the military stuff. We found bullets. We found that awesome thing in my uh, cedar chest. The awesome little air uh, gun. And guys, there's so much more to show you. 
from this unit. We also found all these vintage car things, but we're not going to be able to finish it all today. So I'll show you guys just a few more little things here. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that bell, give us a thumbs up. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching and like in here. Oh yeah. Take a look at this. Guys, all this stuff's going to be on www.secondsense.com. You can bid on it. This is a nice mantle clock right here. It's going to have the name down here on the bottom. This is a Sessions clock. Forestville, Connecticut. And one thing you want to look at in the back here, there's going to be a way to open the clock. This has just a little pop-up. You want to look inside here and see what's going on. First off, that's a very good thing. This is the key for the clock. You always want to make sure the key's in there. Everything else looks complete on the clock. There's going to be a number back here, probably on the clock. Oh, there's something down here. What's this? Oh, that's a little weight for the clock. Oh, I see it goes right on here. So the clock is complete. We'll wind up, see if it works. And you never know what these old clocks could have that. You know, they're always worth the money. This is a nice column mantle clock. It's by Sessions. And probably $1,500 bill. So I appreciate everybody watching. There's so many more great things from this house. Just imagine if I didn't save it, it would have all been pitched in the dumpster. That's one of the reasons I started this business. And yeah, I make money off it, but I love history. I love saving history. And I appreciate everybody out there that's watching that you love the same stuff that I do. All right, so we did not open this letter. 1902. Let's see what's inside of it. I got some scissors right here. And uh, all right. Ooh, it's red. Interesting. Huh. Monthly statement, nine bucks. That was it. So thanks for staying around and watching. Hey, I was hoping to be a hundred dollar bill from 1902. All right, everybody. One of the subscribers sent me this. So if you guys, anybody wants to send us anything, just send it to 2015 West 53rd Street, Cleveland, Ohio, Second Sense. And it might come up undeliverable, guys. Trust me, it's a good address. 2015 West 53rd. Cleveland, Ohio. So if you guys want to send us anything, don't forget I love Batman stuff. Or if you want to send us something that you think is valuable, maybe we can sell it for you. See what, see what he sent me here. Oh, take a look at this. It's the Minions Cup. And who doesn't love the Minions, guys? So, unbelievable. I have to put it right up here on our shelf. And, uh, man, appreciate you. And I believe this is from George. So thanks, George. Have a good day. And uh, once again, anyone want to send us anything? 2015 West 53rd. Thanks, George.